and we are live hey guys hey from sydney good morning from sydney uh good afternoon or evening or night wherever else you are guys calling from uh pop in the comments say hello let me know if you are here let me know where you are calling from i know we had few people registered for this live event we are going to talk about the three most important tips for black friday and cyber monday which is literally like coming up next week wow crazy so um guys do say hello let me know where you are calling from i can already see that there are a few people online uh just put into the comments say hello uh, let me know where you are calling from and we can kick this off. Uh, it's going to be um, a very, very to the point uh, live because I just literally want to make sure that all of you guys prepared and ready to crush it. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, good morning. How are you? Morning, morning. So, Cindy, uh, what, uh, hi, Rene uh rene from canada hi Igul. awesome david is online too great uh great to see you guys here so um cindy uh cindy is part of our elite circle so cindy what are you going to see today it's going to be a little bit of a recap of what we did in our uh elite circle deep dive session but it's kind of going to be a shortened version and for everybody else guys it's going to be completely new awesome so who is excited and uh, about Black Friday, Summer Monday? Let me know. Uh, just raise your hands or whatever you can. Let me know who's excited and let me know who's a little bit scared as well. Because Black Friday, Summer Monday, it's like in e-commerce, you know, literally it's a huge, huge topic. Um, you know, people, some businesses prepare for this for the whole year. Um, so, you know, it's exciting, but it's extremely scary, right? Because it's like, oh my God, what do I do? You know, how do I do this? What if it's not going to work for me? Uh, hi, Maggie. Awesome. Awesome to have you here. And so, you know, sometimes it can be a little overwhelming, right? Because we're like, oh, there is this big thing and I should be doing something, but what, what should I be doing and what should I be doing differently? So guys first of all i just want to do like a quick recap for you to really understand the power of not just the black friday but the whole black friday uh cyber monday week so uh what i guess uh the best way to understand it is kind of a little bit recap what does it mean in numbers right so so just guys so that you understand just in um, the US, for example, Black Friday accounts to about $7.4 billion in online sales. I'm not talking about physical retail, online sales. This is from last year, right? And that's before the pandemic. So before online has even gone really, really crazy. Now in Australia on Black Friday alone and even Cyber Monday, we talk about uh, roughly about $3.9 billion spent just on each of these days alone. So it's absolutely huge, absolutely huge. Shopify recorded at the peak, at the peak of the sales, recorded about 11,000 orders per minute. So imagine the volume, right? 11,000 uh, 11, orders per minute, crazy, crazy, crazy huge emails. Uh, about 116 million emails get sent on Friday alone. Like on Friday alone, 116 million emails. So it's it's really, really, really huge. Now, uh, in terms of offers, uh, quite often we kind of wonder like, you know, what is it that, that people offer on Black Friday, Cyber Monday? And there is typically like two, two main things. Hi, Angelina. Uh, so there is typically two, two, two main things. So um, businesses on average uh, go for about 37% off when it comes to the offers. But that does not mean you have to be discounting anything 37% off or that you have to be average, so to speak, right? Uh, I know that in our community and Maggie, for example, we've got you here, Maggie Live. Maggie, for example, is one of those um, one of the, has one of those businesses that are really sustainable, boutique, 
um, uh, handmade and we do have lots of people in our community who produce their own arts, crafts and have sustainable businesses and are almost kind of anti, anti sales and anti Black Friday. That is fine too. But what you want to understand about Flat Friday, Black Friday and Cyber Monday is regardless of what your offer is going to be, people are waiting to be marketed too. Okay, so we're talking about $7.4 billion in US alone just on Friday, in Australia, $3.9 billion just on Friday and Monday alone. So customers, consumers are waiting to be marketed too. So what does that mean? Even if you don't want to be doing some crazy discounting deals, you don't have to, but you do need to communicate to your customers. You do need to market because literally customers, consumers, people are expecting to be marketed too. They are expecting that influx of emails, of ads, of any messages, right? So whatever you decide to go with as an offer, and I do highly encourage you to spend a little bit of time thinking about your offer, whatever you decide to go with, just remember even communicating or having an anti-Black Friday campaign is still a campaign, is still marketing to your customers with a message that you want to, um, that you want to um, uh, pass on to them, okay? So whatever you're doing, just make sure you're in it. So first thing, make sure you are in. Uh, great. Now, because of obviously all of the volumes, so let's, let's put the first point, like make sure you are in. Uh, you can see that, great. Make sure you are in. That's like really, really, really important. Okay, so now when it comes to all of the obviously numbers and, and volumes that uh, we just discussed, what's really, really important and what you might, uh, some of you might already experience on Facebook is that uh, all of our pet advertisement, what we typically see around Black Friday, Cyber Monday, we typically see a huge spike in CPM, huge spike in CPM and huge spike in audience. It kind of peaks around uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that it kind of uh, dials down a little bit, and then it's going to peak around Christmas again. Uh, typically, it stays on the higher side of after, after Thanksgiving, all the way to the end of the year, but it's going to slightly, slightly drop. Typically, this is what happens every year. Um, so what you want to understand is that whatever campaigns you're running right now, they might not be performing the same way as they were performing up until now. OK, so if your campaigns are still performing well and you're still getting a good cost per click, you're still getting good CPM, you're still getting good conversion rate, by all means, leave it as it is. However, for lots and lots of us, for many, many of us, this is not going to be the case during during the week. And therefore, what we need to make sure is that we keep our cost per clicks in check. OK, so number two, we need to keep our cost. Uh, cost per uh, per clicks in check. Or let's call it cost per traffic cost for your traffic, your traffic cost, you really need to make sure you keep it in check. Uh, keep in check traffic cost. Now, how are you going to do that? That is the question, right? How are you going to do that? Because lots of people are like, oh my God, but how am I going to do that? Uh, because I don't necessarily influence CPM, right? Like, oh, how am I going to do this? Um, hi, Aisha. So how are you going to do that? Uh, there is essentially a couple of things you need to do. First of all, if you are experiencing, if you start experiencing really high C CPM uh, and you, are, you will start experiencing, if you are one of those people who will start experiencing a really high cost of traffic, I uh, personally, what I do, I pause uh, my regular campaigns and then you want to create just a campaign that's essentially Black Friday, Cyber Monday branded. It's kind of consistent just with your Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, message. But instead of the regular audiences that you've got set up, you just market to a very, very warm audience. Okay, 
So keep your audience warm. So under here, how are you gonna keep the traffic cost in check? So you wanna make sure that your audience is warm uh, and that uh, the, the proximity of the audience really matches what you are after. So the proximity. What does that mean? It means that if you've been running lots and lots of traffic to your website all year, all you wanna do for the Black Friday, Summer Monday is retargeting. So you just want to do retargeting if you have enough data uh, in your pixel for that. If you don't have enough data in your pixel for that, what you want to do is very close look like. So, uh, and very close look like either for a purchase or for a visitor. So really important that you are not exploring new audiences. Okay. This is not the time that Black Friday, Cyber Monday week is not the time to explore any new audiences. It's the time to actually just target who is already warm. And again, why is that? Because CPM will go high anyway, cost per traffic will be high. So whoever you're going to be paying to be coming to your website, you want them to be kind of warm and ready, ready to pull out their wallet and buy. Now, the other way how you're going to keep in check uh, cost of your traffic is that you tap into your uh, so-called free resources or whatever you've got already available. Now, I know guys for a fact, and I'm going to like now look in the camera because this is like for a fact. So many of you have stash stashes of lists and lists and lists of emails that you never use. So now is the time to use your email list. Okay. So now is the time to use your email list and those of you guys who are live and never use your emails, you know who I'm talking to right now. This is the time. This is the time to use your email and you want to really, really, really use your email. Uh, so many people worry about, you know, spamming their customers or they worry about unsubscribers. You know, I sent this email, but I got like one unsubscriber or then two or three and then I didn't want to send any email. Who's ever worried about this? Guys, <laughs> do let me know. Put it in the comments. Who's ever worried about unsubscribers? And because of that, it stopped them from sending emails. I want to hear from you guys. I know there's a little bit of a delay, but I would just really love to hear from you. Who's ever got uh got worried about unsubscribers and as a result never sent an email i know we've got so many of you guys inside the community and that's naughty uh yeah angelina that's that's naughty right we we want to we have those lists those people have signed up to your list because they want to hear more from you they want to be marketed to you they want you to be getting in touch with them right uh, they, they, they've given you the email address for a reason. So email guys is not an option for Black Friday, Summer Monday. It's not an option. It's a must. It's a must. And remember, you've already paid for those emails. You are not paying for it. So I want to see each and every one of you start sending emails to your customers. Start latest on a Wednesday. So latest next Wednesday and send an email every single day all the way to Cyber Monday. So I want to see each and every, every one of you guys send at least, at least six emails. Hi, Asanka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to do this, Asanka. There is no other way. No other way, guys. Six emails. I want you to be sending one on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, at a very bare minimum. Those of you who are a little bit you know, on the braver side with the braver head, sent two on Friday and two on Monday. Why? Urgency, scarcity, last call. Okay, urgency, scarcity, last call, extremely important. Why is it also extremely important? Because you're not going to be the only one sending emails. Remember, I said 116 million, 116 million emails like get sent just on the Friday alone. And I'm pretty sure this is like US statistic only. So your email, if you just send one, what is the chance that your customer will see that? You know, this morning I logged onto my email 
and all I do is click, 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 delete. And then there is one email that I always like, okay, I would like to see this offer, right? So do not worry about unsubscribers. What you need to worry about is communicating to your customers who are waiting to be marketed to. People are really open to uh, to hearing from you during this, uh, this, this period. Uh, and so even if you are anti-Black Friday, communicate, communicate, whatever you're going to do, communicate. One of our elite circle students, for example, uh, is creating an amazing campaign all about, um, uh, um, buy, buy slow, uh, don't buy fast, but buy slow and buy, buy with knowledge. Really, really amazing campaign. Really great idea. Right. But what she's doing, she's communicating that, and that's really important. She's communicating that message. So no matter what, um, her customers, her followers will be there hearing from her and that brand recognition will be getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. So guys, whatever you do, use your email, use your email and it's not an option. Okay. Now, um, those of you who are even braver, you can already start this Friday. So today you can already send the first email today kind of with a little teaser, you know, this is going to be, this is what we're going for. Uh, don't make it available yet, but this is kind of what we're going for. All right. Now, um, third thing, number thing, three, I promise you third thing. Number three, really, really important as well. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, I, I'm going to stand kind of here. Um, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, right now I'm going to get back to your question in just a moment. Um, what happens is that customers are waiting to be marketed to, but they're also waiting as to what is going to be the deal, you know, what is going to be the deal. Some of them, you know, still deciding. We even seen in November, like early in November, we even seen lots of businesses sales drop down. Why is that? Because customers are waiting, like, you know, is something going to be on sale? So, and, you know, particularly for high value products, they're like, oh, I might not want to buy it now because surely there's going to be something for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So as a result, and this is, brings me to point number three, and that's again a must, as a result, consumers will be comparing. They'll be comparing what's going on here, what's going on there, what's going on here, what's going on there. As a result, you might see a higher number of abandoned carts than usually. Okay. If you see a spike in abandoned carts, that's perfectly fine because customers are comparing deals. Now, what do we do about it? Good question. What do we do about it? So a couple of things you guys must, must, it's again, not an option. You must, a couple of things you must do about it. First, first, you want to make sure you've got an abandoned card sequence in place, abandoned card sequence, and you want to make the timing quite short. Normally abandoned card email is kind of triggered, you know, an hour in, um, an hour after, you know, after the person has, you know, just left something in the cart. This time I want you guys to do that like much faster, like for example, 20 minutes. So you want to set up an abandoned cart sequence and you want to shorten the timings when those emails are uh, triggered to the customer. Hey, you left something behind. Well, um, you know, guess what? We only have two pieces left. So do you still want this? Um, so again, apply urgency scarcity in then, right? Second thing, how are you going to make sure that customers will buy from you and not from somebody else is optimizing not just your product page because i know guys and particularly those of you who've been to our events and our boot camp we spend lots and lots of time on um on how to optimize your product page but for black friday some money you also need to optimize your uh add to cart and checkout page okay so optimize uh add to cart and checkout page so essentially optimize website, right? Now, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do this? Super simple with simple apps. Again, guys, for disclaimer, I'm, as you know, I'm not affiliated to any apps, but there is some really, really simple apps 
that you can install for your add to cart page for example one of them is called ultimate sales boost and it kind of gives you the option for uh, optimize add to cart another one is called uh, I think scarcity timer or something like that so what do you want to what do you want to do is for the add to cart have like a timer in the add to cart you know like somebody adds a product to the cart and then in that add to cart is like you know you've got the timer there and it's like uh, this product is in high demand we've reserved it for you for the next seven minutes for example and that kind of pushes more people to the checkout why is it important to push people from add to cart to checkout because when they put stuff in into cart do you have their email address yes or no no we don't have their email address okay we have the pixel fired and you know we we can do all sort of kind of algorithm stuff but we don't have their email address however once they uh come to the initiate checkout stage and they give you their email address you've got something okay you've got something to work with for the future you can send them the add to cart sequence or you can market to them with that email with that email that you're going to be sending every day so really important to be pushing people through that sales journey to the next next step so those of you guys who've got really well optimized uh product pages amazing great great stuff but also start working on the next step add to cart and you can do that with a simple simple um app awesome so uh these are the main three steps okay make sure you are in guys it's not an option make sure you're in your your customers are waiting to be marketed to uh second make sure you keep your cost of traffic in check how are you going to do that market to warm audience and send emails not an option i want all of you guys to be sending emails and i want you to report how you went and you know what this is not costing you anything anymore you've got those emails okay and number three uh customers consumers will be comparing deals across the board so we might see a bigger abandoned cart uh, uh drop off so what you want to do is you you shorten the add to cart sequence um to trigger the first email uh perhaps in 20 minutes or so and second you want to optimize not just your product page for urgency scarcity but also um add some urgency scarcity to the to the add to cart page and those of you who are familiar with um some custom coding you can do for checkout page as well now uh aisha great question is anyone anti-cyber weekend uh it's not really part of your brand amazing great 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 question yes it's i mentioned that at the beginning we do have lots of students who are anti anti black friday cyber monday weekend we hundred percent hundred percent uh support this but at the same time, your customers are still waiting for you to be messaging them. Okay, so just think about what is your anti-Black Friday campaign. It's still a campaign. You know, don't buy fast, buy slow, buy with wisdom, buy quality. All of these things are still messaging you, doing branding for your brand and getting in touch with your customers. It does not mean, Aisha, that you need to be creating a crazy sale and putting stuff on sale at not at all but it does mean that you as a brand need to be in front of your uh, customers and communicating with them because guess what even the most amazing sustainable brand without actually communicating to their customers to their followers without having a message it's not a brand that's what brand it's a it brand stands for a message and for having communication with your customers because otherwise if you have a brand and nobody knows about you then in a way you don't have a business right so organic tea for aussie markets amazing asha and we do have lots and lots of our students inside the community who have handmade boutique slow fashion uh even products um we've got uh handmade jewelry sustainable businesses we've got lots and lots of them inside the community um and at the same time, you still need to communicate to your customers, whatever that message is going to be, uh, if it's going to be about sustainability, if it's going to be 
about um, you know choosing well if it's going to be about um, you know recycling whatever it's going to be about uh, just think of your customer avatar and make sure that that message connects to them even anti black friday campaign is a campaign uh, i'm just going to repeat that uh, once again now there was a question from rene how big should we discount the offer so again goes back to uh, Aisha's point as well so if you are a sustainable sustainable um, uh, slow uh, brand and you are not promoting urgency scarcity but actually uh, you know buy well buy slow buy sustainably um, then of course it's not about discounting but it's about educating and if you have a brand that's uh, that's looking on moving moving products fast which is the opposite side of the spectrum so the average, uh, the average, I guess, discount or offer, Rene, uh, as I said, is 37%. However, what you need to be mindful of that this year has been completely uh, kind of, um, you know, out of normality um, uh, year. And as a result, a uh, lot of businesses have been starting their discount cycle much, much, much earlier. And as a result, they cannot sustain the big discounts over the Black Friday, Summer Monday period. So right now, what we are observing on the markets is that on average, it's about 20%. However, Rene, whatever you can make attractive for your customers will be completely fine, right? So how big should the discount be? Uh, you know, always also work backwards. You know, what is going to be attractive and how can we work backwards and making sure that we actually are profitable and sustainable and that we are uh, keeping in business. Why is that? Because if we create a too huge discount and we can't sustain that, um, obviously we won't be able to, to continue. Uh, great. Now, um, on that, on that part. Yeah, guys, on that offer, whatever your message or your offer is going to be, just make sure it's simple. Uh, make sure that it's simple. So Aisha is saying uh, your brand is about taking time to make the ordinary special amazing. Um, so amazing, I would I would keep consistency on that message and then you can kind of uh, get that um, uh, and make it part of it. Amazing. So uh, consistent, uh, the, the, whatever you're promoting, whatever your message is, it needs to be consistent across all the channels, right? So uh, uh, if you're advertising on Facebook, uh, if you have organic traffic, if you um, are sending emails, uh, if you're driving traffic, whatever your your message and offer is, it needs to be consistent across the board and it needs to be super, super, super simple. So guys, we don't want to see any kind of like complications, you know, if you get if you get this, you get that. And if you do this, you do that. No, like we want to make it super, super simple. It needs to be literally like a small child uh, proof. Uh, and I also call it grandma proof, right? If we, if it's really difficult to understand what the offer is, um, then the conversion on that, it's not going to be that, uh, that high. So you're, you're um, re really to maximize the take up of the offer. You just need to make it super, super simple. Great. So guys, that much. These are the three musts for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Uh, it's going to be an amazing week. I really want you guys to keep talking to us and letting us know how you're going, whatever, whatever communication, you, whatever message you are going with, whether it's about, um, whether it's about uh, taking time to make ordinary special, uh, what is the engagement, how are your customers responding to, or if you're going the other side of the spectrum as to uh, creating creating uh, really uh, sexy offers for your customers in terms of in terms of discount or adding value or uh, creating additional products, I want to hear how you guys are going with that. So please do keep us simple. Now, last thing I want to mention is that officially, as of this morning. Our one day accelerated life is 70% full. Um, the event is going to sell out full stop. So those of you guys who don't know yet, we've got an Ecom Accelerated Life, a whole life six hour event running on the 8th of December, which is uh, in Australia. And on the 7th of December for US and Europeans. 
Now, on that event, because this year has been really, really tough on everybody, we created something really super special for everybody. So this event uh, is a full-on immersive experience. We are going to learn um, um, how to really keep your business profitable and in check, making sure that it's um, generating sales uh, consistently and predictably. We are going to go through our scale grid as to how do we scale from zero to 100K a month without the overwhelm, making sure that we do it consistently, predictably, um, and so that we have that framework or roadmap on how to get there. We are going to talk about profitability. We are going to really break down the funnel and really understand as to what is it that makes it tick and how can you really leverage this information to to make that leap with your store. We're going to talk about different sources of traffic, what makes uh, Facebook ads go viral and what makes them sexy. We're going to deep dive into specific points. And also we will talk about uh, obviously conversions and, and uh, some of the most important conversions tips and hacks that you absolutely must must have to uh, to really turn traffic into sales. So I know that some of you guys who are here are coming. So those of you guys who are joining the event, uh, just put it put in the comments if you have got your ticket already. I can see that some of the names here already have their tickets. So uh, normally this event, guys, we sell it at nine nine seven uh, for that whole one day immersive experience. But because this year has been tough on everyone we are creating something super, super, super special. We have released first the first batch of limited release tickets at $79 if you prepay, or you can reserve your spot uh, for just $1 and pay $97 afterwards, which is crazy. It's like less than 10%. And we have already uh, completely sold out uh, the first batch much faster than we expected. And so as a result, we released uh, we released a few more uh, tickets just to make sure that everybody literally gets a chance to uh, crush e-commerce, spend the day with us, make sure that you do come to that to that uh, immersive environment and really absorb yourself in e-commerce, meet your peers. We're going to do lots of exercises. We're going to see each other on Zoom and we're going to do lots of exercises in peer groups as well. So those of you guys who still want to get your tickets, as I said, um, you can either prepay for $79 or just pay $1 to reserve and then $97 afterwards. We have released the second batch now because the first one sold out very, very quickly. So it's now officially 70% full. Once uh, it's gone, it's gone. Uh, the link is below this video. So the link is below this video is sylviamyers.co uh, forward slash live sylviamyers.co forward, forward slash live. It should be displaying uh, below this video. And if not, I can, uh, Kristen has already uh, gave us the link. Amazing. So um, yeah, it's going to be an amazing event. Uh, it's really uh, going to be an, an uh, awesome way to finish the year. Uh, make sure that we are kind of prepared in the right headspace. Uh, we've got the right strategies tools in place and then go full steam uh, in 2021. So guys, uh, so lovely to see you all live today. Uh, please go and get them. Go and get them. Make sure that you don't just learn, but you implement, right? Guys, what we're looking for, I repeat this every single time. It's about massive, imperfect action right how many of us and i want to see some hands here how many of us have not done anything um so many times because it wasn't perfect you know so many of you guys like you are smart smart creative people who have careers who could be doing anything in the world and therefore your expectations on yourself are like poof, like this high and sometimes you know, sometimes we just want to learn more and be more and more, be more, be more. But it's about putting that massive imperfect action into into reality and making that happen. Why is that? Because only only when we take that action and implement, then we can improve it. OK, so think about think about e-commerce businesses and businesses in general. It's kind of like a 
it's kind of like a um, circle, right? Like first it's a dot, then we get it spinning bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, right? So only once you put in the action, we can then improve it and build on that and make it better and better and better and better. So guys, massive imperfect action. That's what I'm looking for. That is really what's gonna uh, help you make that leap forward. So with that said, oh, I should just go to ticket. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. Uh, will be amazing to have you there and you are based in Sydney. I think you said as well. So the, the timing will be perfect for you. Um, guys, so it's been lovely to, to talk to you about this topic today. Uh, I really want you guys, all of you to go out there and take that massive imperfect action today, not like tomorrow, but I want to see that today. So high fives, everyone high fives across the room. Um, you guys have taken the time out of the day to be here today alive. So give yourself a huge pat on the back for that. Uh, go get them. And I really talk to you guys super, super soon. Bye. Bye. Go get them guys. Bye.